And with that, episode 13, Vivi Flora Ice Song comes to a conclusion. But yeah, this is my impressions on the finale of the series. So let's jump into it. Well, unfortunately with episode 12, pretty much all the twists and turns that the series is going to take end up being concluded. I think episode 13 kind of marks a climax and a kind of an unraveling of everything we've kind of learned and established prior in a very bombastic way. I, I really did think that this episode was really well put together, very well orchestrated. Um, and I think it's kind of like I said, a very much a culmination of everything that we've established over the last 12 episodes coming to a very triumphant ending to it. I, I think the, the, the play out of the music and everything that Vivi has experienced so far kind of paralleled alongside everything that's currently happening with uh, with the Towak invading the Archive. I, I think my biggest surprise for this episode, though, was really kind of the re-inclusion of Navi, which, <laughs> honestly, at this point, after 12 episodes, th now going into 13 episodes, I had completely forgotten about Navi, and it was, it was kind of like an interesting little final struggle for Vivi. As Navi kind of marked the beginning for Vivi, and she is now at the the finale for her her existence essentially because of course and this is exactly what navi kind of proposes is that the moment that she does sing it's going to deprogram her as well like this whole this whole concept of what they're doing to initiate this final song that will shut everything down which essentially as we've learned archives idea of vivi choosing humanity to live on this will, of course, since Vivi is now connected to the Archive, will include her as well. She is going to be deactivated. And it was also interesting because Navi essentially proposed the idea of, look, you are you should go back to your original mission. Your original mission was to sing and, and create smiles. There's no reason why, once mankind, everything is gone, that you can't just continue to sing. And it even employs the, the, the form of Momoka, who course again another one that we haven't seen in a very long time this little girl navi is invoking this image of momoka to essentially again plead to her of like no look just continue to sing just continue to be what you are you don't have to go do this this is not your mission as again a, a, like a last ditch effort to make her stop and again it really does seem like a i almost thought that they were going to end up having an archive is manipulating navi to say this but it really does seem like it's genuine in the end. This is just exactly what Navi wants. Navi just does not want her to basically destroy her own self. Again, while we haven't kind of established a lot of this stuff, Vivi does kind of put it into words and the idea that later on when she does go to perform, she is essentially establishing finally that her definition of what a heart is, is her memories. She's directly attaching memories to the word heart. So she have this, has essentially created her heart through the memories that she's culminated over the last 100 years, all the experiences that she's gone through, everything that she's done, and she has essentially put that into words. And I think that was fantastically done. Like I said, I think the the portrayal of the music along with everything else, the chaos and destruction that's happening all around her, it was just excellently cemented into the 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 kind of conclusion again to this overall story. And then, of course, after she finishes her song... She, along with everything else, deactivates. And this is kind of a, a the sad reality. It kind of shows these small, brief glimpses of essentially mankind after everything is shut down. And of course, the frustration kind of seen through these stills of these these humans going, you know, essentially bashing uh, the head in of one of the AIs, just kind of the frustration that they feel, obviously, with so many people lost because of what the AI did. It does kind of pose the question, I mean, e even with uh, Elizabeth, they do show her standing besides Yui, but people are still terrified of her. Like, they're still terrified that there is this AI there, which really begs the question of, like, why would anybody still want any AI to ever be around after everything that's happened? And I, I guess it's going to be, and this is kind of one of the only troubling things to not have too much shown after the fact, not enough kind of after story to the story, is is Yui going to essentially want to fight to continue the coexistence with AI? Because it's a hard sell <laughs> to a lot of humans that, oh, hey, I know you're really mad, but this is a good AI. Don't worry, we can coexist. 
it, it's a hard sell. <laughs> so whatever Yui has planned going forward is going to be a h uphill battle easily. And I guess it tries to answer this question in that we established that Matsumoto is there at the very end to reactivate Vivi. He tells her, you know, she's re she's activated in order to sing and create smiles. And that would assume that everybody, and it kind of gives a picture as if people are waiting for her to sing. So the only thing I can think of is that whatever Yui did or whatever they do to kind of mull things over afterwards is to kind of establish this idea that Vivi technically did save everybody in the end, even though it was an AI stopping AI. It is an aspect of, again, there is good AI out there. Just maybe no create an archive. <laughs> Just don't create a central unit that can establish command to everything. That's probably a bad idea. Um, I think that's I think that's the moral of the story here. And I, like I said, I think that's probably what they're trying to establish there is that there is good AI and Vivi possibly did save them, but that everybody does want to hear her song, her, hear the song that she created possibly. So. Again, a lot of vagueness there, and I'm creating a lot of <laughs> speculation here just because, again, it unfortunately doesn't really show too much after, the, you know, the dust settles and how they can continue to even humor the idea of coexistence after this point. But, yeah, like I said, overall, a really fantastic episode. I think, again, it, it's, a, it's one of those cases where nothing really gets super revealed in this last episode. It's just really one of those things of taking everything we've learned over the last 12 episodes, presenting, presenting it in a really grand scale a beautiful music portrayal, uh, awesome directing and showing all these scenes. So really cool conclusion to everything. So it's also unfortunate that we, Dr. Masamoto is confirmed <laughs> gone at this point, which is, which is sad, but, uh, yeah, that's my thoughts on episode 13, the finale of Vivi Fluoride Ice Song. I will be doing a full review of it later, and I'll release that in a video later. Thank you guys for sticking with me and watching every week as I do impressions week by week for this particular show. I really do appreciate you guys' support. As always, if you did like this video, leave a like down below, subscribe, leave a comment, let me know what you thought of the episode. And I thank you all for watching, and y'all take care.